Welcome to the another video of Cricket Thrills. Richie Richardson is born on 12th January 1962 at Antigua. He is a former international cricketer and a former captain of the West Indies team. He was a flamboyant batsman and super player of fast bowling. He was famous for his wide brimmed maroon hat which he wore in preference to helmet against even the fastest bowlers. Richie Richardson captained the West Indies side in 24 test matches between 1991 to 1995, winning 11 test matches, losing 6 and the rest ending in draws. Let's watch the inning of his 156 runs of 314 balls including 20 majestic fours against India in the fourth test match of the series played at Kingston in April 1989. Oh, well, Richie Richardson. What a way to treat old Capital Dev. Very unfair. David Archer is the umpire. Uh, Richardson's been in colossal form. Capel, I think, trying to get a bit of his own back for the round the wicket short, intimidatory stuff that he faced and the other batsmen. At 20 for 1, he wants to keep the ball up to the bat, though. Well, that's a little bit of lift there from Cheetan Sharma. Very well played by Richardson. It really was. Just have a look at how this rears and Richardson watching the ball so closely. Just brushing his right shoulder, a bit like a matter. Cheating Sharma to Richardson. Fine shot. Very good half stop that by little man Draker. Because Richardson does have tremendous power. Can't ball short at this point. He's a very good playoff front and back foot. And he's always looking to nudge that ball square on the offside. That was more than a nudge, that was a full blooded slash. It was in this class. I, down the leg side, how many times have you seen it on this tour? And Richardson sweeping it away, fine for four. Should see him bowl shortly, that's the young Venkat. Another off spinner. Richardson, like. All top-class international players hits the ball well on both sides of the wicket. It's still Kapil Dev. Oh, lovely shot. That big right hand comes into the stroke and whacks it away through cover. Kapil not very serious there, throwing the ball in left-handed. Straight back lift, right through the line of the ball. And not as much power as he usually puts into it because that only went for three. Well, they were going for three, but they ended up with two. And the important thing to, to think about Richardson here is like all great players, he likes to keep the bowling. Good counter, run by the fifth or sixth ball, he's looking for a single. Now here's our first look at the young offspin of Venkat. And Vivian Richards, Drives him wide of mid on, and that's four runs. First, an important time for this young off spinner, his first test match. Beautiful footwork, though, by Richardson. Venkat again. And again, the footwork and misfield there at cover. That's Venksaka misfielding. And four more runs. Oh, just constantly, Venka takes his hat. For 80. Now Richardson. Oh, good shot. Such a compact player and so strong off the back foot and front. And a big, heavy bat he plays with. So lucky to be brought up on good, flat, firm wickets, because that was only just short of a length, but so committed to the stroke. Beautiful. Well fielded, indeed, well fielded. Azaruddin, just feeling that strain growing. He's done very well to carry that injury. 
quite a commitment to go into a, a five-day match with any sort of strain. That was almost a catch. An improbable way of getting out, but a fine stop by Azaruddin to his bad side, his left side. A little tickle, and that's four runs. All the shots, both sides of the wicket, absolutely intentional on leg glance. Made a remarkable recovery from a bad knee operation a couple of years back, Kappel. Not a good ball. Very Ann like but uh, very Richie Richardson-like. Well, that shot said it all. And another beautiful stroke. He's got every shot. It's been a great delight to watch him back in this series. Very athletic man, Richie. Fine tennis player as well. And fast reflexes. Look a bit like Rohan Kanahai, though. Well bowled. But uh, no luck for Kapil Dev because that runs away too for four runs. Now Richardson well on the way now to what might be yet another 100. 48 for three at the moment. 50 overs have gone, so fairly pedestrian progress by West Indian standards. Attempted Yorker becomes a full toss and with Richardson becomes four runs. Or does it? Yes, it does. The longer growth of grass there, just holding it up before the rope. But he's a damaging player, Richardson. Attempted Yorker, this. Yeah, but Richardson... Beautiful touch. Lovely little... Faint glide, fine. And that's a beautiful shot by Richardson. Yes, you can't wander offline against this chap. It's not just all power, it's also about touch and timing. With a chance to press on, are you? Chetan Sharma dives, misses, four runs. Another ominous way to start the day. Fine shot this by Richardson. And uh, really, I don't know where you're going to bowl at this fellow. You've got to presumably keep it up to him and bowl to a very defensive field. Well, even the difficult balls he plays with animal instinct to stay alive. This kicked off just short of a length. Off one of the few bits of grass left on this bare pitch. Since Alvin Kalachurai in 1978 has made 100 on this ground. Well, Richardson's having no trouble at all. And that is Richardson's 100. What a tremendous series. He's now scored over 500 runs in this test match series. And great jubilation, a packed crowd today, 15,000, sweltering heat. And these Antiguans in tremendous form. Like that. Cheetan Sharma. Oh, we've seen that shot repeated so often. And it nearly always goes to four, such power in it. Richard Richardson. Appreciative crowd watching this man move smoothly towards 150. About a second and a half, that's all. Oh, more punishment for Venkat. What a test for a young man. His first international match, first test match, to bowl to these two. And he's not bowling badly, it's just superb batting. Venka to Richardson, thumped away again, and that's through the field. 
We'd love to see the captain draw back those close fielders, give this young man a chance. Nice high action. And a bit of turn. But nothing to trouble a quality player. And that's short again. Dispirited Venkataramana. Pulled for four by Richie Richardson. And the runs are really flooding now. Yes, the same ball the over before had gone square on the off a couple of years ago. Oh, he dropped him. He's dropped him as Rodin at slip. Well, that's sneaked through there at slip, and uh, that would have been a costly one. Keep your eye on the fielder. Instead of staying down, he's standing up. He's almost bolt upright by the time Richardson edges that. Had he been in the right position, which is there, at the start, he'd have caught that easily. So expansion as the number one player in the world. 301 for three. There's a man who's pushing him. Richie Richardson modelled himself on Viv Richards. He is uh, partly Viv, but a lot of himself as well. Very controlled player. All the shots. It's one we haven't seen for a while. It's the on drive through mid on. It's tended to go a lot squarer than that normally. Just one slip now. Another cracking shot, Ayub chases. No contest. Four more to Richie Richardson. On the way to 150 and maybe even a double century. This one just a bit more bottom hand, that's why it went. Richardson is facing Ayub the off spinner. Just paddled round and that should go. It has. Another four to Richie. That's his 150. And what an innings it's been. Absolutely anchored the whole show. He plays so many shots to so many bowlers. He must see a number of possibilities almost every ball. But he plays every ball strictly on merit. It's a wonderful sight, that. Oops, and Richardson goes. That's a great sight, too, for India. Kapil Dev gets him to chop the ball on, I think, off the bottom edge of the bat. And this really is a fine piece of fast-medium bowling by Kapil, who hasn't given up and really has got rid of the man who could have got at least 250 off his own bat. Now that's a valuable wicket indeed. He began his career with the Leeward Islands in 1982 as an opener. After his second season, he was called up by the West Indies to tour India in 1983-84 season. Richie Richardson joined a successful West Indies test team captained by Clive Lloyd batting in the middle order. He was a destructively brilliant batter, particularly on hard pitches where he could throw the bat through the line with abandon craving the ball square. He hooked willingly too, usually up frequently for six. Criticism was often directed at his lack of concentration, but he was capable of that. His 69 grafted out over four hours on a volatile pitch at its Boston in 1995 was a masterly exhibition of bad wicket play. He reserved his finest innings for the Australians. Only Sachin Tendulkar and Jack Hobbes have battered his ninth century against them. Late in 1991, West Indies captain Viv Richard informed the West Indies cricket board of his intention to relinquish the test captaincy and retired after the 1992 World Cup, though Richards had publicly picked Desmond Haynes as his successor. The board chosen Richie Richardson to take over the captaincy, and Viv Richard was dropped from the team. Richie Richardson spotted the board dropping his preceder, which led to ill feeling towards him in Antigua, the home of the both men. The West Indies never lost a series under Viv Richards' leadership, so there was a great deal of pressure on Richie Richardson. Under his captaincy, Curtly Ambrose and Courtney Walsh led the bowling attack and Brian Lara emerged as a world-class batsman. In the four years of his captaincy, the West Indies only lost one series versus Australia in 1995, which was the West Indies' first series defeat after since 1980. If you like this video, please comment, share and subscribe. Thank you very much.